Hi everyone! It has been a while since I uploaded the last video. I started this project to challenge myself betting if I could make it or not. I learned a lot of things while I was doing this project. You can watch full time lifts and real time videos on my Patreon. You can find the link in the description. As usual, I start by extruding the vertices along the face. I add 14 or 16 vertices to the eyes because I need a lot of vertices to get his face. I also think to sculpt his head, but I'm not ready to try the face. So maybe in the next video. Anyway, I shape the eyes and I select the vertices at the bottom and move it forward by using proportional editing. Then I add the mouth and delete the edge vertices to extend the mouth. I extrude the eye and connect in the middle. Then I add the nose and connect back to the eye. At this point, I'm not really focusing on topology flow. I'm trying to figure it out to connect everything on the face. Now I got the face. So I add the teeth one by one. Then I model the eyes and the back of the head. I use curves to make the hair. I do the left side of the hair first and I add small hair strands at the end to make it look more detailed. I'm not good at sculpting and I don't know much about anatomy. So I take this chance to improve myself. At first, I think of doing only the half of the body, but eventually I add the hands to make some pose. It looks a little bit odd with only the upper half and I'm also having fun sculpting so I continue to wax. Some of the morsels are not right but I'm gonna fix them along the process. For the retopology, I use quad remesher add-on because, because I don't want to spend another week for it. Topple flow is bad since it's generated. In the coloring process, I want to change the color at any time. So I use a blender layer setup. I add two RGB notes and connect to the mixed color node. Color A is for the base color and B is for the color you want on top. Then I add the image texture node and create a texture with black color. So when you draw white, the color B will appear on that. I'll use this setup for the whole model. If you want to control the opacity of the mask, you can add the color ramp.
After adding the shadow color, I add another shadow layer with much darker color. You can use a hue saturation node to get the darker version of the shadow color that you used. I add the line arts on the model on top of the shadow layer. Hair texture is the same setup, but I add a gradient node to that. So that's it. I hope you get something from this. You can check the Patreon link in the description. Thanks for watching.